gravitational potential is nothing but the work done in bringing a unit mass from infinity to that point without changing its kinetic energy. So now since initially we were considering a mass small m getting brought from infinity to a point in the vicinity of our gravitational field, we are now considering a unit mass being brought from infinity to that, to that point. So gravitational potential say p is nothing but minus g m by r. This is defined for a point unlike the gravitational potential energy. This is very similar to what we have in electricity. In electricity we have the voltage potential. That is at any point on a conductor there is some potential. In the same way in a gravitational field we have a gravitational potential. So every point in a gravitational field will have some potential which is defined by this. So if we have a planet like this mass m radius r and we are looking at a point here it is located at the distance of capital R dash suppose then the gravitational potential at this point is going to be minus gm by capital R dash. This is also a scalar quantity. Having discussed about these, let us look at a small problem related to gravitational potential and potential energy. See we have four point masses located on the corners of a square. Each having a mass say m. We need to find out the gravitational potential energy of the system. Say the side of the square is A. Now, when we are considering the gravitational potential energy of the system, we need to consider a lot of things. First, how this system was formed. And secondly, this system is now in equilibrium. How this system was formed comes from the fact that say we bring first mass m from infinity to the point we are considering because of the effect of no other things around it we will be having zero change in our work we will be having zero work done to do so so let's say this is infinity this is somewhere at infinity and this is the point we are considering we bring small mass m from this point to this point and it is not surrounded by anything else. So the work done is zero. Now we bring another small mass m which is at infinity to this corner of the square. So the energy spent in doing so is nothing but minus g m m this capital M becomes small m itself because of this because it is coming into a gravitational field created by this small mass m. So this is g m m by this a. Now we have another small mass m. You need to bring this from infinity to another corner of the square say here. It is now under the influence of two gravitational fields. One due to this, another due to this. So due to this, it is going to be at an energy of g m m by a due to this it is going to be at a distance of root 2 a so g m m by root 2 a now you bring another small mass from infinity to this corner of the square. Because of that, you will be facing the gravitational field of three such masses. Because of this, there will be a gravitational potential at this point. Because of this, there will be a gravitational potential at this point. Because of this, there will be a gravitational potential at this point. 
So it is under the gravitational field of three such masses. So because of this mass, the energy associated will be this. Because of this mass, the energy associated will be this. And because of this mass, the energy associated will be this. So this is the sum of all such energies which gives us the gravitational potential energy of this system. So this is common and we have 4 plus root 2. Note that this can also be solved in a simpler way. To solve it in a simpler way, we can simply look at pairs. Each pair of masses will be in will be having some potential energy associated with it. So each pair of masses being considered, how many pairs do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So each pair will contribute us one such term. This pair contributes us say this, this pair can contribute us this, this pair will contribute us this, this pair will contribute us this, this and this pair will contribute us these two points. This is how we get this. Now let us look at a different concept. Let us look at the concept of escape speed. Escape speed is defined as the speed that needs to be or this should be rather minimum speed that needs to be attained by a point mass to leave the gravitational field it is in. So escape speed is defined for a particular gravitational field only. For this to happen and we are considering minimum speed, what we require if we have a field like this and we have a point mass m, what we need to do is give it some kinetic energy so that it has enough energy to leave this field and reach infinity. If that is the case, then what will really happen is the mass will go to infinity and become static because we are talking about a minimum speed. When in a gravitational field, we have this mass having a potential energy of minus g m. Say this is the mass of, say, let us consider a planet and it is under this field, say. So this planet has a mass m radius r. So this mass say at a, is uh, at the surface of this planet to make things simpler. So we have potential energy due to this planet on its surface being equal to this. We additionally give it some kinetic energy so that it reaches infinity. At infinity, it is going to have zero potential energy. That is basically the, a, a fact. And because we want it to just reach infinity, we will be also having zero kinetic energy. Therefore, we have the kinetic energy getting equated to 
this quantity and we have the escape speed as this. If we square this up and multiply an r here, what we see is the acceleration due to gravity. So this is basically equal to 2g r. Note that for earth, escape speed is defined when this m becomes me and this r becomes re. Escape speed on earth is roughly equal to 11.2 kilometers per second. This is the general idea of escape speed. You may also have a situation where you have the mass at some height above the earth's surface and you may need to give all or the mass is already at certain speed so it will have an additional kinetic energy along with it. You need to give it an additional speed or an additional kinetic energy that will take it to infinity. This situation may also be twisted as the mass reaching the uh, uh, mass reaching infinity and still having some remnant speed with it so you need to find out say the speed at which it travels at infinity note that at infinity the only thing which is defined is zero potential energy Zero kinetic energy is not a condition for a body to be at infinity. A body may have kinetic energy even though it is at infinity. So this is the concept of escape speed.